A very good evening and welcome to KTN Business. My name is Abi Agina. We begin with the race to replace Professor Njogo Nandongo at the helm of the Central Bank is now on the home stretch. The Public Service Commission has conducted interviews with the five finalists that have been shortlisted for the position of the governor. But who are these men and women, you ask? In the first of the CBK succession series, Adelaide Changole brings us an insight into the people who could be steering monetary policy for the next four years. The name Professor Njugunandungu has been synonymous with the Central Bank of Kenya for the last eight years. But following the expiry of his term, the search is on for the man or woman who will replace the professor at CBK. It would be very, very difficult, to be honest, irrespective of what people think, it would be very, very difficult to beat Njugunandungu's uh, um, um, record. The application process attracted 22 applicants, 11 of whom held PhDs. But the Public Service Commission shortlisted five individuals that it believes have what it takes to take the mantle from the professor. More often than not, many central bank governors today hold PhDs in economics. And today, the finalists took their place in the hot seat. First up was current deputy governor and said favorite Dr. Harun Sirima. Dr. Sirima holds a PhD in entrepreneurship from Kenyatta University, a master's in economics from Manchester University, and a bachelor of philosophy in economics from the University of Nairobi. Dr. Sirima has worked for CBK since 1986 when he joined as a graduate trainee. Dr. Sirima has extensive experience in public finance and sovereign debt management. Next up was relatively unknown Dr. Patrick Njoroge. Dr. Njoroge holds a PhD in economics from Yale University, a master's and bachelor's of arts degrees in economics from the University of Nairobi. He is currently the advisor to deputy managing director at the International Monetary Fund, where he has worked in various capacities since 1995. Before this, Dr. Njoroge worked in the Ministry of Planning. Former Permanent Secretary Dr. Edward Sambili was third in the lineup. Dr. Sambili holds a PhD in economics and a master's in international trade and development from Lancaster University. He earned his Bachelor of Education in Mathematics and Economics, graduating with first class honors from the University of Nairobi. Dr. Sambili previously served as a Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Planning and National Development between 2008 and 2013. Before this, Dr. Sambili served as a Deputy Governor of the Central Bank of Kenya. Next up was another new face. Dr. Penina Karioki is an economist working for the African Development Bank. Dr. Karioki also had a brief stint at the Central Bank in the 1990s. The country's economic secretary, Dr. Jeffrey Ngugi Mwao, was the last to be interviewed at 5 p.m. Dr. Mwao, who graduated from McGill University in Canada with a PhD in economics, has worked as a senior advisor to the executive director representing Kenya at the executive board of the World Bank. Prior to this, he was a senior regional advisor on economic policy analysis with the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa. Dr. Mwao also worked at the International Monetary Fund as an economist for Rwanda, Malawi, Botswana, and Uganda. Looking at the shortlisted candidates, the next governor will be a departure from Professor Ndungu, who is widely regarded as a career economist, with his successor expected to consolidate changes in the banking sector rather than introduce radical reforms. It would be good to see that their backgrounds would actually help them to create new ideas and to look at the economy in a new way, the Kaja's macroeconomy in a new way from what we've seen, in a way that's different from what we've seen before. Adley Changole, KTN Business.